Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. Um, thank you for subscribing and liking our videos and showing us so much support so far. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to write a data frame that we have in our PySpark Databricks environment uh, to a CSV file. All right, so let's get into it. I've got my Databricks Community Edition set up. And if you want to know how to do that so that you can use PySpark for free, I link the video in the top right corner of the screen. And apart from that, what we've done so far is we've just uh, read a file, a CSV file into a data frame, and then we're displaying that data frame. And so you can see the simple data frame. Just, we've just got ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. So suppose we have this data frame stored in the variable DF, and we want to write that to a CSV file. What we can do is we can just do a df.write.csv and we can do um, let's say export as the folder name and we can give it a file name as again export csv dot csv all right so once we've done that we can just mark header is true since we have a header and then just run it So it looks like it's been completed. So we can go to our data and check that out. It will be in our DBFS. And as you can see, we've got this, uh, sorry, we've got this export folder with the export.csv, export csv.csv file. So now when you open that, you'll see something weird. As you can see, there are many partitions to the file, right? So basically that's because of how uh, Databricks uh, and Apache Spark work in general. They are massively uh, parallel processing frameworks so they split the file into different uh, worker nodes and then they do the uh, processing on that hence they're stored in partitions but uh, what's important to remember is that this export csv.csv when you use it it will look like it will it's sort of an abstraction and the file will look complete whenever it's being used so just to confirm that what we can write is we can just do a display spark dot read.csv and then we can specify that particular file path so just copy the path of that file spark api format is preferred and yeah like last time header should be true So basically we're in one line of code we're reading this as a data frame we're not saving it we're just reading it as a data frame the csv file and we're displaying it all in one line of code and as you can see it matches the csv file that we had written the data frame that we had written to the csv file so that means that everything was done correctly and it's working properly so that's how you do it that's how you write a data frame to a csv file in uh, PySpark, and you can We'll be looking at how to uh, write it to a single file in the coming videos. It's a bit more complicated and you need to do a workaround. It's not a direct process, but yeah, we'll be looking at how to do that later on. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next few videos. Thank you.